Hey, hey kids, you uh, you trying to get into Segment City? Well, you really shouldn't, because Segment City is a mature podcast, and listener discretion is advised. I'm just trying to look at, I know I'm in an alleyway, I know, I know how I look, but I got some fireworks for you kids. I got snakes and I got sparklers, that's all I got. Oh, don't give me that. No, go ahead. Continue. Rice Krispies. Uh huh. Snap, crackle, pop. Yes. Soda pop. Welcome to my advertisements. The advers- advertisement hour will begin this segment city with an advertisement. For pop. For pop. Different kinds of pop. First of all, let's advertise my father. I call him pop. <laughs> I'm going to advertise. Balloons that pop. Next up, soda pop. And then the funny little elf from the pop. His name's Pop. <laughs> Snap, crackle, crackle, pop. Rice Krispies. Rice crispy treats. This is the worst bit. Look at those levels. <laughs> <laughs> they're, just, they're just spiking. They're just absolutely they're really spiking. Strapped. <laughs> no, we're going to keep going because that's how we roll. Hey, w- welcome to Segment City. We power through <laughs> the show. Commercial advertisement. If you have any advertisement. advertisements that you'd like to <laughs> for us to read on air, we'll do them. We'll I mean, money, you don't... No, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> it's y- soon. We'll soon. Uh, down payment. Uh, welcome to Segment City, everyone. I'm Will Kane, the snappiest boy. Snap, crackle, pop. You Will Kane. You don't get to say all three. I'm. Which one would you be? Snap. Snap's the worst one, you dingus. <laughs> oh fuck! God damn it! You're right. Um, I would be. I don't know. Pop sounds good. And I'm just a guy who likes to say "Baba Booey." Theo Sapagos. Say it. Baba Booey. There he. he it's his bit. It's it's, it's my, the. It's what he does. It's my whole personality now. This is a show in which Theo and I present segments each week. Some are new, some are reoccurring. But each week we get surprised by what the the other is going to do, and we have laughs. We have a good time. It's new segments. Yeah, we have cries. cries. It's always a a variety. Now, it's a variety, but I always begin with the same segment, so there's that. And this is Will's Stupid Thoughts. Time to play. Who wants to be a stupid thought? All right, Will's stupid thought for the week. When artists are short on money, they start doing erotica and other fetish porn art. (laughs) Same with writers writing smut on commission. What are some other porn-based commissions people could make in other professions? Oh, my gosh. Got to make some money off of this porn. Uh Uh-huh. Manufacturing. You just slip in a dick every (laughs) one of that, every 10,000 copies. You can mold of dilt like you... You have an industrial like <laughs> lead pipe thing, but you're gonna make different pipe. One out of every ten thousand BMWs off the line. The shifter <laughs> is a dildo. Tesla now has a feature one in every million. It's <laughs> going, and it's. I'm gonna keep this one for myself, oh. but I'm gonna sell it for a high price. It's gonna be like a whoa. Take a left. <laughs> oh. People that work at a funeral home, sexy catalog. No, 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 no. Sexy catalog. Just a bunch of sad. People. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I was going to say the bodies, but that's not good either. Oh no. Uh, Why are you uh, going there? I don't know. I'm trying to think of uh truck driver. What well, they don't really take commissions. Puts his dick out the window. What about plumber? <laughs> that's just <laughs> <laughs> just that's gross it's it is just, well it's it's just the plot of a porno that's just the porno. it's just the porno it's just electrician hey, hooks I'm up gonna, your wires so you get a sexy electro electric ooh, time they can make their own electric dildos whoa do you think people started this podcast and they're like i don't think they're gonna talk about sexy things immediately <laughs> let's get right into let's it let's get right into it um hmm what other things? I'm thinking of like artists. Like, could you make you? There are tons of porn video games. What am I talking about? There's so <laughs> many. What am I talking about? What am I There's talking so about? Go on Steam. Go on Steam. Look write, up. Right. Anything. 
Yeah, just rate porn. Just rate, just like a child googling for the Google first time porn boobies. Boobis. <laughs> boobis, yeah. My favorite game was Boobis. It has a great plot. B- boobis Bo- in the realm of dildo. <laughs> in the age of reckoning, <laughs> it's upon us. Boobis is arriving. <laughs> boobis big... has been summoned from the nether realm. It's a big dragon with huge tits. Oh no. Hey. Oh hey. Oh, boobis. I'm just trying to live my life. <laughs> You guys could stop harassing me. That'd be great. It smashes you with his with its boobs. This is a weird conversation, <laughs> and it's, we're just like doing the most improv <laughs> we've ever done. Mm. Other professions, because there's okay. So there's writing. There's art. Mm-hmm. You can draw sexy things. You can write about <laughs> sexy things. Is there ASMRs? I I don't know why I associate. If you're a ASMR psychologist, with, like, you could try to stuff. like incept some se- sexy thoughts into your patients. Do we want to? I mean, we're, I'm, s- I'm hurting for money. Do you want to try to do some sexy commissions? Sexy commissions. Hey, welcome to our podcast. Will already, Will already has his. Oh, I'm Will Kane. He's lifting up his, his Ooh, shirt. Ooh. I'm just gonna rub my belly real quick with is some that butter sexy? Is I that... have you... <laughs> on hand. <laughs> is this someone's? Oh, oh my he's god! He's getting out the chocolate chips and he's spreading them on his on his face. But imagine if they're not quite melty enough, so they're just kind of rolling off. Earbuds came out of their thing, and this is now playing while they're in the office. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Jerry, silly Jerry, classic Jerry, listen to porn at work. There's probably there's it's chocolate chip fetish porn. It's if, a classic. If it paid enough, would you do an audiobook of an erotica? There's a price for everything, William. Is there? There's a price for everything. What's the price? I will pay what's, it. What's, I have, <laughs> you will pay it? I'm not hurting for money. I can pay you for this. If you paid me a hundred thousand dollars. I'll pay you in friendship. Nope. A hundred thousand dollars? Well, it's gonna exist on the internet everywhere forever. People do porn which is actual <laughs> like not even just their voice well, being just like saying, everything and has then a price. the dinosaur put it into their butt <laughs> great bigfoot goes bigfoot great bigfoot put it in the butt oh yeah put his welcome to this in his big butt sexual podcast <laughs> viewer discretion is advised gross this is gonna be on the internet You're gross anyway <laughs> we're done with this bit hey will yeah I have a question for you. For me? What's this rap lyric mean? I don't know. I gotta listen to it first. You gotta listen to it first. I got a song for you this week. Okay. It's by a rapper slash comedian called Zach Fox. Okay. This song is called Jesus is the One. Uh Uh-huh. Parentheses. I got depression. Close parentheses. (laughs) Okay. I will read you a line. Yeah. You will do your best. I always do my best. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Your bitch at my crib. I just let her charge the iPhone. <laughs> okay, yeah. Ask me if these dines diamonds. Nah, bitch. These some rhinestones. Do, okay, well, <laughs> unpack <laughs> this for me. What's going on in this scenario? This is pretty straightforward compared to a lot of things. Girl coming in to my house. She just wanted to charge her iPhone. That's right. You know, um, and she's like, "Are those diamonds?" And he's like. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not rich enough for that. He's like the opposite of most rappers. That's He's right. Like, this is rhinestones. This is rhinestones. <laughs> These are, this is, what is it? Cubic zirconium or whatever? What's the fake diamond? I don't know. Dude, you're dropping knowledge bombs on me right now. This is, is this knowledge bombs? Oh my God. You're dropping it's fat a lyrics. Next, next line. Wunder kid. Yes. <laughs> so he actually provided commentary on these lines. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to provide a, a little track? insight. So he's like, uh, <laughs> he says, so just come on over, charge your phone, charge your fucking e-reader, charge your iPad. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to read a book? I've got some cool books. <laughs> you could read Guns, Germs, and Steel. We could talk about oh, anthropology. Wow. I thought he was going to, like, <laughs> he's a well-read That's rapper. what he said. And then he said uh, about rides, so he said, dude, diamonds are so whack. Diamonds are so whack. It's so <laughs> stupid. Like, we're rocking fake chains all 2019, all 2020. This if is your the neck don't turn, if ever. your neck don't turn, if your neck, sorry, if you don't turn your neck green, suck me off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is I that's what harder means. to decipher than his actual lyrics? Next, okay, lyrics. we're not even going to talk about the green neck thing. Armpit musty, Reeboks dusty. <laughs> okay. My show got canceled because white folks don't trust me. These are all pretty straightforward. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean, there is underlying, <laughs> there's subtext, but it's also just the text. <laughs> It's about 
Reeboks are dusty. He's not getting out. <laughs> That's right. He's and then racism. And then he says racism. About, he says about his Reeboks. I used to wear these Reeboks that look just like blown out cow pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. They were just fucked up, man. And I just okay. thought about them for a second. And I just went back to that. Sometimes you just gotta rock the same shoes for an entire year just to show people you don't, you really don't give a fuck. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the one year Reebok challenge. I love that yep. was his reason, not because he didn't want to pay for new no, shoes. No, he has to he's show like, people that he really doesn't give a fuck. Give a fuck. He's right, wearing another, like newspapers on his you. feet, and he's like, I just don't give a fuck. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Bitch, you better praise God, or I'm gonna shoot, and that's on God. Oh. I am playing by my Lord and Savior. I'm on my job. Okay. Look, repeat that. Bet you better praise God or I'm a shoot and that's on God. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I don't think it's on God. I think that's on you. <laughs> I don't think that would hold up in a court of law. I'm a shoot and that's on God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in control of my... my Jesus thing. took the wheel. <laughs> and this is where we are. Trigger. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus took it. I am playing by my Lord God, and Savior. You do? I'm on my job. <laughs> You, what, repeat that he again? said i am playing about my lord and sa- savior i'm on my job it sounds like he's playing about his lord and sa- he's not he's taking blame, him seriously he's, he's blaming, blaming his, him he's blaming on- <laughs> is his, his job to blast people away and then blame it on god that might be his it might be his career he's path. a modern day crusader welcome to, to northeastern our new program yeah blaming on god <laughs> you can get a degree. our new cra- class you got co-ops for it here at columbia university we have a lot of different we can send you on a co-op you can you can fuck up your job and blame it mm-hmm. on god mm-hmm. that's what i do <laughs> like Hi. Ed, Ed, edward you sent the accounts to the wrong mm-hmm. customers you know what god. jesus took the wheel and, uh, <laughs> jesus took control i don't know what else that excel i don't know what else to say but um it was god's fault he God sent that email, and then it says <laughs> Jesus in a suit, and he's like, mm-hmm. "He's like, it's all part of my plan. <laughs> this is my grand plan. Is to it's fuck up the account for, for Daryl. I'm just gonna destroy hey, Daryl's been bad. He's not gonna get his done. bonus this the year. Reckoning is coming <laughs> for Daryl. Can we go back to this professor who's just like, listen, I said that God gave me the PhD, and they gave me <laughs> this professorship." I blame God for that. I, bl- I blame God. You know what? I, if you don't blame yourself for taking this class, blame God. Yeah. That created me to be terrible at this job. <laughs> you know, people, when they accept awards, always like, I'd like to thank my family and my uh-huh. friends. And uh, God had a plan. And I really like to thank my, my God. It's what? like, if you were accepting award or no, if you were getting like jail time, <laughs> like anything like she let's say. <laughs> God had a plan. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I blame him. It's only when good things happen that you're thanks, like, thank, thank you, you, God, because you, you're not just like, nobody's ever said, have- thanks, God. Thanks, God. Ugh. Thanks, Obama. Oh. <laughs> so he says this about these lines. Yep. Sometimes you really, you just got to hit the gas and start thinking about crusades, man. You know, a bunch of long haired, big armed white boys running into Middle Earth and just having it out. <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> Who love God more? You know what yeah. I mean? Brown people, white people, black people, all in one space, just fucking it out, just fighting it out. I, think- I love God more. No, I love God more. <laughs> Man, I'll fucking suck your dick. <laughs> what the fuck? Where did he get there? He just. He's like a modern day philosopher. This is amazing. I love he's just a bunch of long haired, big armed white boys <laughs> running into Middle Earth. Because <laughs> it's just. It's a very clear vision in my head of just these long hair, but they have big gorilla arms. And they're just arm. like, whoop, 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 whoop. and they're charging into middle art. <laughs> oh my god! All right, last. This line. commentary is better than the the really song. Good. The song's very on the nose. Okay, the, but apparently this lyric is good. Yep. If you ain't a Christian, I'm gonna stab you in the face. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's God. He's doing it. He's taking control. If it ain't about Jesus, I'm gonna hit you with this K. <laughs> so he's he is a modern day crusade. He's just murdering people. Yeah. He's just like, if you don't believe in my God, I'm going to kill you. That's right. He's gonna stab you in the face. <laughs> he's gonna stab you in the face. He's being pretty explicit about what he's going to do, his intentions. I'm gonna call up to the uh witness stand Jesus. He's gonna come to my defense. Yep. He's not here. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Damn it, Jesus! <laughs> and the uh, gu- guilt, guilty, guilty. I guess Gu- guilty. I blame Jesus. I blame Jesus. You didn't come through for me. So he says about these lines. Yep. I'm not a Christian. I grew up in church, man. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, so all that shit. I just love all that, you know. <laughs> 
Blood of Christ, love, pour it up. I'll sip. Him. Fucking I, Jesus is a cool ass dude, man. You he, know, I don't care if he was black or not, just because it's not the coolest thing about him. The coolest thing about Jesus was that he made it into his thirty with more than three friends. That's crazy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck if he turned water into wine. Friendship? Whoa. This man was so high when he said these quotes. These are like, if you said that these were from like an elderly person, I would also believe it. Or just like a <laughs> schizophrenic. Like That's he's right. just not making any sense. And then the chorus of the song, I'm, mm-hmm. I, you don't need to provide explanation for it, but okay. it's great. Yep. I'm going to dip my balls into some Thousand okay. Island dressing because <laughs> no. I got depression. <laughs> <laughs> I'm avoid my taxes and then I'm gonna get arrested because I got depression. <laughs> He's just a very clear, just like Doc. <laughs> I'm feeling so down. I don't know what to do. And the doctor's just hands him the <laughs> dressing, and he just like, nods at him. And he nods, goes, like, mm. "I'll leave the room and come back in a few minutes." <laughs> and then just him hovering above this bowl of <laughs> Thousand Island dressing, just gingerly like dipping his balls, just into in. the, just just into the. And then he goes, "Oh my god." <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for this. He just starts bawling. <laughs> oh, it's all coming it's out. All coming out. It's depression. And then the cops bust in, and they're like, "You didn't pay your taxes." <laughs> You're like, "Oh no! Oh no! I was take, just getting some sweet the, release. Take this man to jail." And then they put the cuffs on him, and <laughs> he's shut like, like out "Sir, wipe the, yourself off." No, they don't even do that. It's just dripping oh, no. behind him. In a thousand Island dressing. Dress, yeah, his pants around his ankles. Oh no! That's the song. Okay. Jesus is the one. <laughs> Jesus is the one. Je- Jesus is the one by Zach Fox. That was a very. It's good a one. great tune, it's and by a- great tune I mean it's 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 funny, but it's not very good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was very on the no- nose lyrics. Normally, they I feel like they have some nuance or something that I don't understand. I understand. The well, I mostly like the colored commentary, like the the commentary of him in the in the background being like, "This is what I meant by that." Mm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah the commentary is definitely yeah, the great. best part thank you for that segment now it's time for my segment which is also kind of religious themed but not actually this is acts of gourd Ooh. this is a website i found from i think the 2000s and it's by somebody who owns a video game shop uh-huh and it is his weird shit that happens to him and his name's gourd <laughs> and he wrote them into books um, so these are mostly from the books of annoyance. This story is called Nintendo Makes You Stupid. Oh. I'd like to buy this game. Very well, then. That will be $45.60 with tax. Also, do you have a memory expansion for your Nintendo 64? Perfect Dark requires it. I do. Are you sure? It's one of these units that plugs into here. Gord proceeds to show the customer what he's talking about, as the customer doesn't look so bright by holding up a Nintendo 64 up and pointing to the memory expansion slot. Customer leaves, returns with parent. Speech repeats with mother. They leave content. Next day, the customer returns. This game doesn't fit into my machine. Gord plugs it into his Nintendo 64. Seems to fit into mine. Does your machine work with other games? Yes. See? Dramatic pause. Sir, that is a Game Boy Advance. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect dark didn't fit. (laughs) Well, yes, I suppose it wouldn't. So when it held, when I held up a Nintendo 64 and pointed out the, the things on it, you didn't say, that doesn't look like my machine because... That's amazing. <laughs> it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit into it. Let Let's me see. pull up another one for you. I got the hiccups. You got... Oh. It's okay. Hey. It's a good sign. You're going to ruin the, the podcast with that. Don't stop. <laughs> stop it. I can't help it. Trust me, is what this is called. Do we need ID to be able to rent? Yes. Yes, you do. Why? You don't get out much, do you? Can I use my library card? (laughs) No. (laughs) That's the end of the story. Does does not count as identification? No. All right. This one is called... This is another short one. This one's called My Parents Won't Let Me. You sure have a lot of games, a lot of PlayStation games. Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, I do. I wish I had a PlayStation. Why don't you pick one up? Uh, They're free in large, specially marked boxes of cereal. My parents won't let me have one. 
This guy was around 22. <laughs> <laughs> Even the gourd can't help some people. Some people just can't be helped. All right, this is from the Book of Propaganda. Okay. Velcro. How does a game shark on the PlayStation work? On a 64, it plugs into the cartridge, but how does it work on a PlayStation? Velcro. What? Velcro. What? You see, you put the game into the PlayStation like this. Then you put the Game Shark on top of the game. Close the lid, and then boom, Game Shark action for all. The Gord then turned on a machine that was hooked up to the TV, and it looked like the machine that he had set everything into was being used. Wow, that's so cool. And the person then left to tell all his friends. <laughs> Two days later, oh, no. the Gord is working on his computer when the same person comes in and starts yelling, It doesn't use Velcro! <laughs> <laughs> and storms out. That was odd. It took Gord a few minutes to figure out that b- what Buddy meant, and then it dawned on him how he had spun the tail of Velcro in the Game no. Shark. Gord later learned that the guy had spent the next two days at school telling everyone he would listen to the about the PlayStation Game Shark using Velcro. <laughs> he successfully reinforced a low intellectual image. Yes. Oh no! <laughs> to people who don't know, Game Sharks are like they're not cheating, but they're like cheat code yeah, the, devices. You plug it in, and you can get cheat codes. And out it was for like Nintendo sixty four. So this is why it was <laughs> very oh stupid. My God. Um, I'm going to do a few more. All right. This one's called Damn It, Day Ruined. Uh-huh. Customer choo- chooses a stack of uh, SNES games to buy and places them on the counter. I'll give you $45 for all these games. Sir, one of those games alone is placed at $40. The stack is priced at uh, $178. Make me a deal. <laughs> Why? Why? Because they <laughs> are old. Question. Because they are old games. True, but you've chosen the rare and good ones. If you want to make a deal, might I suggest you take a look at the ones that are priced less? I don't want those. That's why they're five to ten dollars each. They aren't as sought after. Fine, be that way. Can I rent them? Sure, fine. I don't care. I'll take these four and pay for them in the first week of in May. No, nope. that's not how renting works. <laughs> Namely, you pay a price per day per game. I was thinking a one dollar per day and five dollars per week. I want to buy them, but I'll pay for them next month. Very well, I'll hold them for you. You don't understand. I want the games now. I want to play them. Now he's getting pretty angry. Uh Uh-huh. Then buy them now or pay uh, now to rent them. It's how things are done. Then he storms out and hits the door on his way out. Oh, my God. Um, People are dum-dums. They're dum-dums. Most of these are just like people not understanding how renting works. Like, how common how common like capitalistic transactions happen like i want to buy this game but i don't have money or just like i to you but have to have I an want account them now. i want the game and he also does a thing where if you don't pay your late fees he sends a, uh like a debt collector kind of agency after you mm-hmm. um and they like hurt your credit until you pay it yep so it fucks people over and they're just like why are you what are you doing he's like you, you didn't, didn't give me. me my shit you didn't <laughs> pay me money <laughs> you for rented that's, why do people not understand that's that is what credit is about this is like if acts of gourd it i get a tentative recommendation it's a good like it's like the justice porn or whatever mm-hmm. revenge porn right on reddit but it is very dated because he talks about playstation one games and also he throws around the word uh retarded a lot Right. Which I'm like, oh, this Wouldn't doesn't, fly nowadays. That, that does not tr- like track as well. Doesn't track. Um, but anyway, that's just some acts of Gord. That's the end of my segment. End, you can, uh, end of Gord. End of Gord. He's dead. No, I don't know what happened. He's, Speaking of it, dead. It does, oh, what's this transition? I have, we need to talk about a Super Bowl commercial. Okay. Oh, I know what you're going to talk about. We're talking about mr peanut mr peanut we're talking do you know the history behind mr peanut and what is happening with him no you don't i don't know the hit why would i know the history of mr peanut it's only like one month's worth now, of history in 1892 <laughs> mr peanut this was country born. was founded on the legume yes he he rose to prominence became the governor and then he went into congress <laughs> <laughs> he bought out winthrop's monocle factory he then became doctor doctor peanut D- doctor of and legume then, studies <coughs> he did a lot of legume surgeries oh my god uh did a shell transplant it was an amazing thing they transferred his nut to a new <laughs> shell that's why he is immortal until he now is immortal until now so a couple of weeks ago like december time 
or yep. maybe January. Planters killed off Mr. Peanut. Yes. You knew I, this. There was a, it was a whole big hubbub, which was weird. They said in a Twitter statement, we're devastated to confirm that Mr. Peanut is gone, which wrote the nut brand who has been synonymous with the iconic lagoon since 1916. He died doing what he did best. <laughs> having people's backs when they needed him the most. Saving Wesley Snipes. And Excuse me, what? Man. You're telling <laughs> me that that's what he did best was having his friends' backs? I was unaware he even had friends. Here's the thing. You know how crazy it is that Mr. Peanut is the icon for selling peanuts? It's wild that he's it's going... It's wild. He did not have any of his brethren's back. No. He's literally he's selling, selling them their to corpses. be eaten. Yes. So he has nobody's back the, except for Wesley Snipes. He mass produces bodies. Mm-hmm. If people, wild. If people don't understand why I'm saying it's Wesley Snipes, maybe you're going to go in a, into It the, was in a commercial. It where, was in a commercial where Wesley Snipes, and I forget what the comedian's name is, but he was like, I, I know his face. Um, we're in a car with Mr. Peanut, in a peanut-shaped car, as you do, and then it went Which, off. Which, by the way, for him, it's like me driving around in a human-shaped <laughs> car. What the, what the fuck? You're just in a car that's just shaped like, like a human. Like, you're like, uh, totally normal day. <laughs> this is nothing out of the ordinary. It's like, um, oh my god. Uh, in the SpongeBob movie. Oh, the Patty Mobile. No, well, oh. Patty Mobile, and also uh, what's his name? His name's right on the edge of my tip of my tongue. What, what character are you looking for? Um, the man, the famous guy from Baywatch. Oh, uh, David. Uh, David Hasselhoff. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, David Hasselhoff, just riding in a Hasselhoff <laughs> car, and he's just. <laughs> what do you, you honk? He just goes. <laughs> yeah. Super weird. So he crashes, and then they're on a branch. And they're on and a branch, and it's gonna—it's about to snap. But Mr. Peanut lets go, he so lets they go. can be saved because there's an, so much weight. He's a peanut. I mean, he's a peanut. What's a peanut life even? He was 104. Mean. Old man. Old man. That's peanut. how. That's how old my great grandmother was when she died. But it's She's wild. She's as old as my great grandmother. It's di- it's a- wild that they stated that he did. He died doing what he did best, Dying. having his friends it's- back. <laughs> Like, crashing his car what does that mean what what does that mean he he, he has friends yeah with Wesley humans snipes. and he's okay with with his friends eating would you yeah his, that's his also, brothers eat of my flesh <laughs> eat of my fl- does he think he's jesus like Do you mr okay. oh my god conspiracy theory yeah mr peanut is actually jesus the blo- the body the body of mr peanut i love that mr like jesus came back and he said what form shall i take a lugu <laughs> Jesus is yes. risen again <laughs> into risen. A legume, in a legume. and he is the head and of he, a multinational corporation. And he's, and he's just like, I will look like the Monopoly man, and I will, <laughs> I will sell look my like brother in. Fancy peanut. And this is his crucifixion. Oh my God. <laughs> it's him dying. Oh my God. It, uh, it's just a Fry wild. your potatoes in the blood of me, <clears throat> po- of potato and peanut combined into if, one delicious snack. If you were friends with Mr. Peanut, would you if Mr. no rephrase that if mr peanut died for me yeah yeah for you for, for me, your ha- sins having my friends back his friends back me would you eat his body if i found him dead on the ground yeah if he was freshly dead he fell from a branch he's now peanut butter i presume partially oh my god would you eat mr would peanut's I just, corpse like, dip dip my finger in just a little bit just to see what the peanut butter is like yeah you're just like Ooh, that's a good pe- he's aged peanuts like he's just fine wine his 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 peanut meat is matured to um now i'm actually hungry for peanuts <laughs> planters you fiends planters, you did this you absolute mad lads now i actually want peanuts so d- did you have more on yeah yeah so the super more. bowl did you see the super bowl commercial the I, saw the com- I saw a kind of the follow-up like so, he, he gets reborn so yeah exactly so we need to talk about this so in the commercial so they said they said Tune into the Super Bowl to hear yeah. like his eulogy. So yeah, so tune into like, the Super Bowl. Hey, okay, Mr. Peanut is a b- so very... they're they're at the funeral and Mr. Clean and Kool Aid Man are there. Mm-hmm. You know, just casual. Yeah, and Miss and the Kool Aid Man like a tear rolls off of his glass. Yeah, I guess, and it like he falls could just into be the, sweating. It falls into the ground into some dirt, and out comes a baby peanut. Yeah, named Baby Nut. <laughs> Oh, you gotta... They officially called him Baby Nut. I and hate it. Just so, call him Baby Peanut. Baby the, Peanut the is so much better. The, the commercial goes... It, the Baby Peanut makes some baby noises. Yeah. And then makes some dolphin noises. And then in a totally normal adult male's voice goes, 
Just kidding. I'm back. Out of a baby <laughs> peanut's voice. Out of a baby peanut's bo- body. Hello, Wesley Snipes. I know just you've kidding. missed me. I'm just me, but in a baby form. I'm, I'm immortal, you see. I'm back. Look at my small frame. <laughs> The cloning it's... module has done its job, Wesley. <laughs> I've gro- Don't worry, your body is still safe and sound. This is not my first death, Wesley. I have lived a million lives. I've met so many people, and I've grown. <laughs> Throughout the ages, what... I have been known. Hercules. Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> what you haven't known is that all the peanuts are actually me. All the generations of peanut live all, within me. All my little baby nuts. <laughs> Even he goes... <laughs> Genghis Khan. Actually, me. I conc- <laughs> Nobody has pictures. Nobody described me. I had a man that... I had a human that I said, you are Genghis Khan. You shall be my mouthpiece. Columbus. Me again. Me again. <laughs> I sailed the seas and killed all the native people. I did it for more disease. farmlands to sell off my brothers. My peanuts. <laughs> they say I'm 104. I'm 1,004. Oh, no. He's eternal. He's eternal. I am Cleopatra. <laughs> <laughs> so why'd they go with the name baby nut baby nuts very because okay here's a here's a not even conspiracy theory baby yoda yeah baby yoda baby, baby yoda. yoda for sure babies are cute now baby well, sonic is a thing baby sonic just baby everybody yoda. is like baby they're trying to get in on the baby yoda hype how fucking like detached from humanity are business ceos and marketing people that they're just like have you heard about these Babies? Babies. People go People, fucking mad for them. The they, internet is ablaze with pictures of this baby green boy. We we use cats a little bit. That was a little cringy. How about we use the uh, b- babies? Oh my b- god, imagine babies. if they killed off Mr. Peanut and replaced him with a cat peanut. He turns into a cat peanut. That would, uh, that would be weird. That would be the worst. That would be like that Mario game, Mario 3D World or whatever. You could get the cat suit. <laughs> yeah. Meow. Meow. When Tanuki could, Mario. When there's the big cat Bowser and he's like. Meow. And you're like, oh, oh God, Jesus. I don't think I like this. But yeah, it's just that. Okay. Here's a, do you have more, by the way? Before no, we I just need it? to talk about okay. Baby Nut. We just need to talk. We we just, need, I just needed to bring up Baby Nut because it's disturbing and. Can we just talk about how... It's late-stage capitalism at its finest. It is. But here's the thing. Could you... I would love to see the office of the person who's been pitching this hard. Okay, we're going to have Baby Nut. It's going to be during the Super Bowl. And then... Not to mention $5.5 million per 30-second We're going to have show. our fake-ass peanut mascot that nobody has ever given a shit about, and he's going to die. And that's going to... He's going to die. It's we, going to bring the, a tear to right. people's eyes. And then... We're going to... Real-world re- tragedy... Kobe Bryant. Three days and three nights later, much like Jesus. Yes. Well, no. <laughs> that implies that he, Kobe Bryant has been reincarnated oh, as Baby no. Nut. <laughs> no, but the real life tragedy, Kobe Bryant passes away uh, very tragically. And I could imagine this person being like, fuck. Now we we already it. paid the money. We already paid the money. <laughs> and now we got it, it. We got to follow through. But it's just so like soulless. It's entirely soulless. It's so it's so calculated. And you could tell it's so they, stupid. You could tell that they didn't know what to do because they did the baby voice, then the dolphin, yeah. and then the regular voice. And you're like, I don't know what the fuck you're going for it's, here. It just comes off as just like, and they're trying to make a big deal of it. Like other mascots were like, rip in peace, peanut. Rip and you're just peanut. like, excuse me? Rest in peanut. And it's like, this is bad taste now. This is, this is not I mean, good. it was always going to be bad taste, but it's like the, 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 like the comparison between a real life tragedy of a real like sports star dying compared to fake ass manufactured get the feels for this peanut man is insane i'm gonna go off this is me this is the hill i die on (laughs) is killing (laughs) mr peanut here and he dies on this hill can i kill mr peanut can i we have another commercial where i go and i'm just just a crazed gunman and (laughs) And they're like did you guys get that on camera yep perfect for the next commercial and then i then i dip like And then they're that. like, planters, peanut butter. And you're like, fuck, they got me again. <laughs> they got me. They got me. I was all time part of the trap. That would be the next. That's the next post cap. Just oh like God. making fun of an assassination or something. <laughs> if a figure like. Oh, my God. He, Mr. Peanut's so important that somebody had to assassinate him. So his message couldn't get out about these delicious peanuts. Fuck off, planters. Fuck off, pan, plan, fuck off capitalism. Ugh. Sorry, that was that's that it. That's all. I, that's all I got. We, hey, got. we got riled up about Mr. Peanut. We're starting a Patreon now. <laughs> 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 we're now doing capitalism well the i don't know where to lead from there except for maybe into my segment yeah that's the natural place that is the natural place now theo i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do this thing 
Welcome to our new segment, <laughs> uh, I Talk Show. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Welcome to our new segment, AI Talk Show. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> AI talk show. Oh, oh. so this is a this is a, a website called Acapella Box. Okay. Uh, Acapella Dash Box, and it you can write whatever you want. Okay. And different voices. So that's Will from afar. I. It's just his name's Will. There's different voices. <laughs> most of them. Are. Most of them are not great. <laughs> welcome um, to. Welcome our... to the. Let me. I want to show you my favorite. Okay. This is how I learned about it, and I'm going to do the same thing that they did to me that made me want to put this onto our thing. So you're going to hear some clattering of me typing. This is old man Will. I love the way... W W W because it's got a little so Cosby much, in there. It's just so w. lazy. W W He's really savoring the W's. I That's love it. Old man will. <laughs> let's make old man. What do you want? Let's wait. I got one. Let's let's get armpit musty rebox dusty. Wait first before we do that. Fuck, Mister Peanut. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Box, put him on blast. I gotta turn that oh up because God. I don't know if it's picking it up oh right now. If Fuck if Mr. it doesn't, Peanut. then I could just download it. Is need, also yeah, and then put it in and put it in if I want. Oh my God! Just so you have a clear. But I'm gonna make it louder. Um. So what was the thing that you said? Armpit dusty rebox. <laughs> no, armpit musty rebox dusty. But I I want to hear other voices too. This is incredible. Reebok. Uh, Reebok du- must. Oh no, rebox dusty. <laughs> let's, let's do this Is one this old as, as old man again unless you want from afar w w w do you want old man or do you want um i like from afar as well let's let's do i want old man to say this one all right i'm pit musty rebock dusty <laughs> <We're> rebock <back> dusty <laughs> we need to combine this with our other ai segment where it like writes Writes yeah, but, for you, and then we just slap it into here and have it say it. I want to hear afar for this one again. Armpit musty, <laughs> rock dusty. <laughs> it's, what? It's so loud. Armpit Big musty, rock dusty. Oh my god. <laughs> Was uh, most of them are kind of kind of like meh. I'm not gonna lie. There, Those are the there's two like highlights. Karen. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Karen, Kenny, Laura, Micah. Now, most of them are like, let me, Micah. Like, let's do, what's a, what's another, you'd come up with a line this time. All right. This is going to be Karen. Classic Karen. Amirite. 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 That's just, that's just like a computerized voice. Yeah. Most of them are just like regular computerized voices, but. I want to hear old man say, Parker, get me pictures of (laughs) (laughs) Spider-Man. Wait, I got to do this all caps. (laughs) <laughs> so he shouts it. Parker, get me pictures of Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, most Spider Man. <laughs> the most defeated Joe, Jan- <laughs> Joe Jonah Jameson ever. Get me pictures of Spider Man. Parker, get me get pictures of Spider Man. I could speed him up, but it's like. <laughs> No, it's Wait, so good. It's so good where he is. I need pictures. Garbage D- printed. Double you, double you. Let's get some more in here. Bullet Coop Spaceship. <laughs> sounds Bullet so bewildered. Coop spaceship. Bullet Coop Spaceship. He sounds like some of his grandpa just being <laughs> like, what is it? Nite-? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get just Google, just Google some copy pastas. What is a Nintendo? <laughs> so it's a really good AI. What I'm not going to lie. Nintendo? What is a Nintendo? <laughs> I'm going to do my favorite copy pasta of them all. What is the little background jingle that's on there, too? Oh, I love it. All right, this is going to be a long one. But yes, I think this I've, is, I think this is a far. I'm in for it. You can speed it up a little bit. I think this is going to be a far. It has to be. <laughs> I'm going to speed him up a little bit. There we go. Plus 15. Okay. 
Here we go. Oh, it exceeds the limit of 300 characters. Okay, just we'll pair it oh, down. Oh, it's like so many characters, though. Just go down like the first couple of sentences. What the fuck did you just <laughs> fucking say about me, you little bitch? I'll have you know I graduated from of my class in the Navy Seal. And I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Al-Qaeda. And I have over 300 confirmed kills. <laughs> so yelling from across the bar. Wait, do the next lines in old man voice. <laughs> we'll patch it together. <laughs> the next, like, couple of lines. I am trained in guerrilla warfare, and I'm the top sniper in the entire U.S. armed forces. You are nothing to me but just another target. I will wipe you the fuck out with precision the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth. Mark my fucking words. <laughs> oh no. W, W, fuck you, you're my next target. You're my next target. <laughs> I was a sniper oh, in the no. Vietnam War. These are my favorites. <laughs> You wanna? Do we have any other like oh, very funny? No. Oh. Do we have any copy pastas? All right, which one do you want for this one? Probably the old man. You had old man. It probably makes sense. <laughs> I mean, or you could do. Oh, one. it's just over. I I'm gonna just see if that. Oh fuck me! It's so close. How close? Okay, this one's a good one. Here we go. I have done it. 80 years and not a single nut bust. Thanks to my incredible goal, I have obtained an IQ of 156, which I have used to build a PC that leads System 32 when it loads in the type of an SFW. 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 WWW. Okay, this is the last part. Part two. Part two. <laughs> I'm currently in a hospital bed dying of terminal disease. However, this is a victory as in 72 hours I'm expected to die. Wish me luck in this final run. <laughs> I'm expecting to die. Wish me luck in my final I am built run. I'm on the PC with Delete System 32. <laughs> 32 when it detects any type of NSFW. NSFW. W. 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 Oh my god, it's too good. <laughs> in this final run. <laughs> Wish me luck in this final run. W-W-W-W-Nutbuster.com <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> That's a lot of fun. I like Acapella Box. Thank you for bringing that to the table, Will. The old... Because it was just... I didn't listen to it first. I got the impression of... Like, they did an impression of it of just going... W-W-W-W-W-W-W... <laughs> W! Because <laughs> they do inflections based on if you do question marks or not. Oh my god. W. I am talking from afar. <laughs> oh, Welcome <I'm> to. <laughs> so Welcome good. to this shit. I Th love it. Thanks for bringing that to the table, Will. They probably have. If you buy the premium, you get more things. Uh, if you buy the premium, someone's yeah, trying to make premium. money off of an old man's voice. Well, no, old man's free. But pre you might get more space if you well, buy if it's it. Old man if it's old man's, you then, get uh, Ella, who's a child. You get all children. Well, that's disturbing. You get Ella, Emilio, and Josh, who are children. Platinum. Sharon. You can get Scott, who's also a child. Valeria. That's, are we an ad are we advertising Acapella Box right now? Are they paying us? Fuck off, Mister Peanut. They can. Fuck they off, Mister. I mean, hey, planters, come. Uh, give that nut money. Give me that good. Nut money. Is WWW not nut buster? <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to go there. Let's see what happens. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. This is live. We're Here doing we it live. Not even doing a incognito. He's safe search off. Nut. I'm about to see something I'm never going to be able Nutbuster. to unsee. <laughs> oh, no. It's going to be something bad. 
no, oh, we got it. Okay, we, we got, got a warning. Saved. We got a warning. We got a warning, Oof. and I'm not gonna agree to it. Sheesh. I saw, I saw out, the, baby. I saw the um squares of of, <laughs> of like it looked like the a porn site. Oh, so God. I was like, oh yeah, and that makes saved sense. you. And then it was like, are you 18? And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a child. I'm a child. I'm Don't a baby. let me in. I'm a baby. Keep me out of there. But this this is the... Wait, one second. <laughs> yes, we can do our outro. Uh, What's Will Bad Guy? Oh, that one is only okay. Okay. What All right. about Will Sad? Will Sad. Will Sad. You can listen to it if you want. All right, you can you can go. Well, do, do you want you, me to do? Do your, you do your goof. I think you know what. I'm very tired, um, and I think that I think Will, old man Will, should take the outro. Take it out. All right, let's do this. I'm not gonna speed him up though. I'm gonna give him the zero. He's gonna get a zero for speed. All right, here is the end of Segment City. This is the end of this episode of Segment City. <laughs> Hit up our Twitter and YouTube. <laughs> also, email us any segments at segmentsitipodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> Thank you to Rachel Robertson for our theme song and check out her podcast, Create Loud. Good night and fuck Mr. Peanut. <laughs> Oh, I think the jingle behind it makes it better. Oh, okay. I'm waiting. This is some garbage. <laughs> it's this, not worth it. This episode the is just going to be waiting. It. Well, that what was, what was that the goof. No, it was nothing. Okay. Well, that's thank it. We you. already did our outro. Yeah, we did. All right. Bye. W W W W. Bye.